You don't have to watch this channel for long to figure out that I shoot film. A lot. About twice as much per year as digital, actually. Now, to save a bit of coin, I develop my own film. And since looking at negatives under a loop doesn't really do the pictures of justice, I also scan them. Scanning took a long time for me to perfect, but I finally found a workflow that gives me consistent results that I'm happy with. So today, I'll walk you through that workflow to maybe give you some ideas if you're new to scanning negatives. So without further ado, let's get to it. The first and most important thing is the scanner. For 120, a flatbed is okay, but for 35mm, in my opinion, you really do need a dedicated film scanner to get decent looking results. My model here is a Prime Film 7200. I chose this model because it's cheap and it resolves about 3300 dpi of detail, which is starting to push the limits of 35mm film. The negative tray it comes with is plastic, but it's very well built and I've had no issues with it so far. The only downside to this scanner is that you have to manually advance the film holder to each frame. The software the scanner came with was pretty much garbage, so I used ViewScan 9. It's a fantastic piece of software for all your scanning needs, not just film, and it works with almost any scanner ever made. This isn't sponsored, I just really, really like this software. So I set the options to professional, select my scanner, and set it up for 35mm color negatives with 48-bit color a preview resolution of 600 dpi, and a scan resolution of 3600 dpi. Then hit preview. I adjust my crop in the preview window so it's just a tad bit inside the frame, then head over to the filter tab. I set infrared dust removal to light, since that seems to do just fine, and the rest is changed a bit on a shot by shot basis. Restore fading, it seems to help a little bit. Let's set the color balance to auto levels, a bit better still. Restoring the colors doesn't seem to change a whole lot for me. Restore fading, okay, that's actually an improvement. This negative is new, so it's not faded. And with that off, we're getting more vibrant colors and more brightness in the midtones. so I'm gonna leave that off for this scan. I leave my color spaces set to sRGB, and I don't use the film profiles built into ViewScan. I don't find they make much of an improvement, and sometimes they kind of look worse, so I just don't use them. For output, I usually output to a TIFF file, but I will use RAW if I also plan to use Negative Lab Pro in Lightroom. But for now, let's hit Scan, and I'll meet you over in Lightroom when it's finished. Okay, the picture is done scanning, and I've imported it into Lightroom. First up, this looks a tad bit overexposed, so I'm going to bring that down a bit with the exposure slider. That looks good. Next, I personally like a contrasty colorful image, so I start by adding contrast with one of three methods. The first is just the contrast slider. The second is using the predefined point curves that Lightroom has built in. And the third is making my own curve, and that's actually the one I'm going to go with for this shot. I'm not going to do anything fancy, it's just a simple S-curve. That curve really helped to bring out the colors, but I still want a smidge more, so I'm going to bump up the saturation to about plus 5. I'm going to leave the white balance where it is since it looks fine to me, but I'm colorblind so I'm not really the best at discerning slight color casts. We're just clipping in the whites and the shadows, but those areas are white in the scan, so I'm just going to leave them where they are, there's not a whole lot that I can do about it. I usually bump up sharpening to somewhere in the mid-60s, so stuff like this rope here has a nice clean sharp edge, but it's not set high enough that there's any haloing around it. And that is about it. I do have a Lightroom plugin you might have heard of called Negative Lab Pro, but I found that ViewScan almost always does a better job unless the picture is of a very high contrast scene with a lot of pure black areas. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments section down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit like, get subscribed, and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one.